Good morning, friends. I wanted to share a layout with you. And this is my second take because it was, excuse me, I was experimenting with my camera tripod and and I had it turned in such a way that the whole video was upside down. So I'm learning. Um, so here we go again. This is a layout. I just, when I took this picture, <coughs> excuse me, of my granddaughter, I just took a double take, just like I got the title from. She looks exactly like my daughter in this picture. And it's not really, since you can't really see her face, it's not really the face, but it's just the mannerisms and what she's doing that just looks just like her. Let me, you could just see her eye peeking over her, her little, look at that. <laughs> so I just had to scrapbook this. Um, and show it to my daughter and and Haley. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me have a sip of my tea here. Okay. I have one of those tea. Um, it's like a mug warmer. And it's a Mr. Coffee mug warmer. I've been down here for a couple hours. And it's still warm, but I like my tea really hot. So... <coughs> Okay, so the background paper is Stampin' Up. Um, I'm not sure what color it is. <coughs> and for the pattern paper, I've used a variety. I've used, um, well, this, this paper here is um, from Allison Craft uh, Webster's Pages. I'm not sure the name of it. This chevron paper up here is um, Heidi Swap. I love this. Um, it's from the Serendipity. It's called Happiness. And that's the ledger. And then most of the others, I mean all of the others, um, this tiny polka dot here and here, and some of these, um, this yellow ledger um, is from Simple Stories Vintage Bliss. And I went a little bit out of my range. I, I had some new embellishments that I wanted to use. So I really want your opinion on whether I it was whether this is a little bit of overkill. But let me know. So I titled it. I took a double take because, like I said, this picture is just amazing. How much it looks like my daughter. So let me, I, I kind of thought of my embellishment areas, so I have the upper left, and then the bottom left, and then over here to the right of the photo. So let me take you in and um, zero in a little closer. I did some splattering. The paint was kind of thick, so it was more like splattering. It was more like lines of paint. Um, I just used this this acrylic paint right out of the bottle. Um, so, but I kind of like that effect rather than just the dots. And you can see it down here. And I just had to make sure that it dried. And a lot of it's covered up, but I like the way that looks. So, in the left top left, I have um, it says 1990 because that would be my daughter at age seven. And I have this flower sticker from uh, Vintage Bliss. And then I cut these two banners out. This stamp, you probably recognize it. It's from um, KI Clear Stamps. And this is, this is it right here, looking back with this glasses. And then I also have um, this one, this is now in that one and I'll show you where I put that I have some enamel dots and some little stickers from the vintage bliss line and I put you look so much like your mother in this picture when when she was seven it really is quite amazing I put some washi tape underneath and I have it is quite amazing and then I put I took a double take and I added, uh, this is a paper clip. I'm not sure where I got that. Uh, maybe Freckled Fawn. And as, as well as this um, arrow here. 
and the letters are glitter foam from uh, my mind is blank here thickers and I have some more dots here and then this is the now which I took this in April 2013 and moving over to I just added a couple here in the bottom right corner I needed something to soften up these um, these edges and then I have this is now which I stamped on a banner on yellow paper in gray I tried the black and it was just well, let me show you that I felt like the black was just too too stark um, so I added it in the gray and these stickers came with uh, the Vintage Bliss line and there's her name there and a doily I layered underneath the washi tape and that is about it it's uh, it was really fun to do I really wanted to play up the yellow and the blue let me zone, zero out a little bit and I like it straighten that out there we go so my first layout in a while let me know what you think now I gotta get started on my project life again um, but it's good to be down here working on a project it's a beautiful day I think it's around 70 so I gotta get get outside and enjoy the day so thanks for stopping by guys and uh, we'll talk to you soon okay bye bye